Let me just draw a cone right here. Um, and I were to take this cone and I were to just slicely thin off, or uh, you know, thinly slice off the bottom, slicely thin off the bottom. <laughs> thinly slice off the bottom, and you were to hold the shape up that I sliced off. What shape would it make? It would make a circle, and a circle is a conic section. It's something that gets sectioned off of a cone. Do you know the equation for a circle? Have we covered that before? Does that look familiar? We covered it in section 1.8 of first semester. It's the Pythagorean theorem. It's the distance formula. B. Locke is shaking his head. He's like, I don't know if I've seen that before. Okay, that's all right. It's okay. But a circle we won't spend much time on because we've already covered it. But there's other shapes that come up as well. Suppose I were to slice the cone like this. I were to slice it through, but at an angle. If you were to look at uh, the bottom of that shape, do you know what you would get? An oval, an ellipse. An ellipse is a conic section, and we'll talk about that as well. Do you know what would happen if you sliced it uh, parallel to one side? If you slice it off, I'll try to draw this as best as I can. So now we're, we're going to like slice it right here. So we, we start cutting in right there, and it kind of peels off this edge. What shape does that make? Parabola. A parabola is actually a conic section. And if you take two cones and you stack them on top of each other, and you were to cut it like this, we get something called a hyperbola, which we'll investigate as well. So there's really four main conic sections that are discussed, and the first one is your parabola. So what's the definition of a parabola? Here's a loose definition. You won't have to memorize this for the test, but let's write it down. A parabola is the set of all points whose distance from... The foci and directrix are the same. Now you're saying to yourself, well, parabolas, that's like x squared stuff. Where does this foci and directrix stuff come in? Well, they're important pieces. And my contacts, for example, are parabolas. Your satellite dishes are parabolas. And the focus point is a very important point on that. So let's examine uh, the graph of a vertical parabola and try to understand a little bit better. Suppose that this is my parabola. The focus point sits on the inside of the parabola. And put an F for focus point. There's another uh, uh, point, but it's actually a line instead of a point, and it's called the directrix. And it sits on the outside of the parabola. And here's how the parabola gets its definition. If we pick a point on the parabola, then the distance from that point to the foci should be the same as the distance from that point to the directrix. Now it looks like I didn't do just a great job drawing that, did I? The distance from the green dot to the blue line actually looks greater than the distance from the green dot to the blue dot. But if we did, a, did it correctly, those would be exactly the same. And as we draw these uh, tomorrow, we'll actually do a pretty good job of it. But that's where the definition comes from, okay? Those two distances should be the same. Well, let's write down the characteristics. Uh, we'll start with what does the equation look like? This is familiar to you. Y equals A times X minus H quantity squared plus K. Did you learn how to graph parabolas in that form? Yes, you did. That was vertex form. Do you remember when we completed the square? And we had problems like this where we had y is equal to 2 times, you know, uh, x squared plus uh, 4x. And we put like the, the 3 over here. We said, what are you going to add to complete the square? We said, well, you're going to add 4. 
we've actually added eight, so we're going to subtract eight. Remember doing that piece? Yeah, so we've done that before and placed it in a vertex form and graphed them. But now we're not just going to look at uh, vertical parabolas. We're also going to look at horizontal ones. And that's going to be x is equal to a times y minus k quantity squared plus h. So what's different about the two equations? How are they different from each other? One of these is not like the other one. You guys watch Sesame Street? Yeah, you, you have the X and Y are switched, but also the H and K switch places as well. Okay, so notice how uh, X minus H, H is going to represent the horizontal shift. Here it's Y minus K. K is going to represent the vertical shift. So the vertex ends up being HK in both situations. So H units is the horizontal shift, and the K units is the vertical shift. The axis of symmetry divides it in half. That axis of symmetry, is it a vertical line or a horizontal line? Does a vertical line have the equation x equals or y equals? x equals. So the equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals, and what is the x value that it passes through on the vertex? H. If I draw a horizontal parabola, and I have my vertex, and I draw my axis of symmetry. Is the axis of symmetry vertical or horizontal there? Horizontal. So that could be an x equals or a y equals. This could be a y equals. And what is the y value of the vertex that it passes through? It passes through k. Now, this starts to look like a lot of information that you're going to have to piece together. The fact is, is that you will get a sheet of notes on the test. You can actually have two or three of them. You put it together on your own, though. So a lot of people actually cut this section out, and they put it on a sheet of paper, and, and those are the things that they use. Another one that's easy for us to identify is the direction of opening. If A is positive, it goes up. If A is negative, it goes down. Well, how do you think that's different if it's horizontal? Anybody want to take a guess? If it's a horizontal parabola and A is positive, it's going to go to the, and if it's negative, it'll go to the, so those are the pieces you already know. Tomorrow, we're going to pick up on the focus point, the directrix, and the length of the lattice rectum so that you can uh, see the new pieces. No assignment. Go get some food, wrestlers.